Reporter Mike Victor says work is underway to ensure laid off workers have somewhere to turn. Mike? Glenn and Jill, there were two actions on the space front today. Some of those laid off workers may be rehired, and one college. The shuttle was grounded when I arrived in early May 86. NASA still reeling from the Challenger explosion. The search for the remains of Challenger is almost over now. There is only one ship at sea looking for parts of the spacecraft. What will be done with the debris is still not known, but officials are satisfied that their search has confirmed the cause of the worst accident in space history. I'm Mike Victor on the News Watch. America's unmanned space program was also in pieces. Will the debris help answer the questions to return America to space? NASA corrected mistakes before erecting the next Delta, which was launched successfully in September. And here is that story as it aired in its entirety. One, zero, and liftoff. Delta 180 lift off. leapt from Delta its launch pad just after 11 this morning. Called America's workhorse in space, the Delta has been successful in 167 of 179 launches in its 26-year history. Some felt today's success put America back on track in space. For all the Air Force and NASA people out here at the Cape, that there was a great delight in watching that vehicle lift off so smoothly. We and NASA have had a couple of failures. been unfortunate that they came back to back, but uh, a few years ago, that really wasn't unusual. Memories of May 3rd's Delta failure were still fresh here. NASA was relieved that the electrical problems of Delta 178 were now repaired. With today's successful launch, there are now only two Delta rockets left. NASA announced today that it has ordered three more to be built. All five will be launched before 1988, and three of them will also carry Star Wars payloads. At a post-launch press conference, NASA called today's blast-off flawless. But because of the Star Wars payload, spokesmen would only say the top-secret satellite separated as planned 45 minutes into the flight. The agency needed it. We needed it. Uh for morale purposes, uh, the country needed it. The next scheduled launch here is a Navy satellite aboard an Atlas Centaur rocket on November the 6th. At Cape Canaveral, Mike Victor for CBS News. The Atlas Centaur launch was also a success, as were several Pershing launches. The tough part was reporting on more and more layoffs and watching as the Challenger was buried in an old underground silo. Also today, NASA rejected the claim of a Brazilian fisherman who said a large part of the destroyed shuttle fell from the sky, hit his shrimp boat, and killed his son. John Kipolani wanted NASA to pay him $21 million for the alleged incident, which he said occurred off the Carolina coast. Kipolani says now he'll sue in federal court. For testing purposes, NASA rolled Atlantis to the pad in late summer for a practice countdown and emergency egress drills. Shortly after, Discovery went to its garage to load up for the next mission. On the space beat, I learned many lessons from such astronauts as Shuttle Commander Bob Crippen and Moonwalker Gene Cernan. 